Hi guys, it's Mac Million within the dark room with Mac Photos. Thanks for stopping by and joining me for today's episode where I'm going to be walking you through some techniques that I use in Capture One to take a flat raw image and create something that's going to be far more interesting and dynamic. So let's hop on over to the other side and have a look. Hi guys, so here we are over in my favorite application, Capture One. And today what we're going to be doing is taking an exposure that uh, has a proper exposure but is a bit bland out of the camera in its raw form. And we're going to create something uh, that's going to be more dynamic, an image that really has pop to it. This particular uh, shot was taken my last day in the Bahamas. We were all scrambling to get off of the island due to a hurricane coming. So um, I think I had about five models lined up this particular morning. We were trying to rush and get shoots in. This was uh, one of the first shots I had with this model. Uh, so it's one of my test shots. Um, exposures are correct. Uh, proper exposure to the right here we can see our highlights has a little areas of not necessarily blown out but they are a little hot but what I know with the dynamic range on my camera and with capture one there's a lot of detail here so uh, I'm going to show you how we recover that detail there again creating an image that's going to be far more dynamic what I've done here is created a variant or a copy of the image. So we're going to work with the copy so that we have a before and after comparison. First thing I want to do here is I'm going to take the image and we're going to do a bit of correcting to our white balance here. Let's see here. I'm going to begin to cool this image just a bit. Uh, getting your colors correct uh, really makes a tremendous difference. Okay, just a minor adjustment. Just cool this image just a touch. And we're going to go back and begin to saturate this image to bring out the colors here. Okay. As I've done that, as I mentioned before, this area to the right, that seems a little hot. We're going to begin to bring back uh, the dynamic range. So as you can see, we've got cloud coverage and highlights in the clouds there that begin uh, to come back into uh, view in those areas. Okay, and as I'm doing this, I'm really, aside from, you know, bringing back those highlights, what I'm looking for as I'm making these adjustments, I want to make sure that my model, I've got uh, good looking skin tones here and exposure, highlights and shadows on my model. I'm going to bump up the brightness just a bit. And I'll show you why I primarily focus on the subject, on the model, as I'm doing this. Okay. So that looks good. The, uh, the reason I do that is because I know anything in the background here, I can make a local, make local adjustments to, and pretty much create whatever I like from that background. So now that we have the model, uh, we've got a good looking skin tone there with our model. Our exposures look good. Uh, we're going to go over to the local adjustments here in Capture One and create a new local adjustment. We'll call this background. And what we're going to do here is I'm going to begin to um, create a layer mask that's going to consist of the background here. 
And it's okay if it bleeds over into the model just a bit. If we uh, make adjustments and notice those adjustments on the skin, we can always go back and clean up this mask here. Now this is nothing that uh, really doesn't take a long time to do this. As you can see, uh, we'll get this area here. And make little adjustments, little fine areas. Okay, so basically now we have this mask on our background. Uh, the beautiful thing here in Capture One is we can begin to make adjustments to the background that will be separate from the subject. So if we want to begin to uh, make adjustments to the exposure, so maybe darken our exposure here a bit on our background, as well as we can begin to saturate the colors of that background even more. Okay, so that looks good. We'll get a little more clarity to our background there. All right, and with the local adjustments here in Capture One, I, I, I love the ability to separate your foreground or your subject uh, from your background and to be able to make those local adjustments to those areas you've applied a mask to. And you're only limited by your level of creativity here. So anything you can imagine uh, doing to an image, you can actually do here in Capture One. So what I want to do at this point, we're going to take the local adjustment layer that we've created or the local adjustment mask on the background that we've created. And I'm going to go to the color editor here in Capture One. It allows me to pick up particular color let's take the blue in our sky and we can choose to saturate that blue a little more we can change the hue of that blue so let's see we can change the dynamics uh, we can choose to lighten or darken that blue so we will go about there. We're go going to go to a bit of the amber tone in the sky here and maybe saturate that a bit more. Looks maybe a little green, so I'm going to add a little more reddish, give it more of a golden tone, and let's brighten it just a touch. All right. Now one of the things I uh, notice here, uh, the waves crashing in right behind the model there. I want to create a new adjustment layer specifically for that. We'll call it waves. And it just looks very bluish to me. So uh, we want to correct that a bit. We want it to be more like white caps here. So. We'll go in and apply a mask to those areas here. Add a little bleed over on the leg there. We'll remove that. As you can see, these local adjustments, really, uh, you're able to go in and quickly uh, create these masks. So now that we have the mask here on the white caps, we're going to um, make some adjustments here. I'm going to start with the white balance here. It, it's very blue, so we're going to open that or warm that up just a bit there. Okay. Next, I'm going to go to the color editor. And we're going to select those colors and make some uh, final adjustments to the white caps there. And 
and maybe brighten it up just a touch. So now instead of having that bluish white cap, and we actually have white caps, uh, the waves coming in and they're, uh, uh, they are more balanced there. Okay. Now I'm going to see some areas I'm going to clean up just a bit here so that we have a little bit better transition between the white and the blues there. Okay, and whenever you're making these local adjustments, you will want to pay attention uh, to little details. You know, if you begin to uh, darken a background, you want to make sure your edges around the subject, you don't have any bright areas. You want to keep your transition smooth between darker exposures and lighter exposures when you're m making color changes. For example, here, us blending um, those white caps in with the blue water there. We had some areas coming down that looked uh, very bluish, so we want to smooth out those transitions there. Okay. All right, so that's looks a little better, a little smoother. So let's uh, go and have a look. We're gonna take a look at our uh, base exposure here compared to the adjustments we just made here in Capture One. So as we can see, we have uh, a much more dynamic image that we've created just by making some uh, basic adjustments here in Capture One and adding those local adjustments to the image. One more thing I'm going to do here. Um, we're going to add another local adjustment and I'm going to call this face. I want to brighten her face just a touch here. I will come to the subject's face here, add a mask there. And then we're going to give it just a bump and the exposure there and that adds a, a little pop of light to the face there. I'm going to add one more adjustment and we'll call it body. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add a new mask to the entire uh, body of the subject here. And what I'm going to do here, I'm going to dodge or uh, tone it down just a touch, just a little bump. Okay. And so what I, I did there was kind of uh, brought more light, more focus, more attention to the model space there and dodge down uh, the body just a bit. That gives us a little more uh, saturation and a little more contrast uh, to the uh, model's body and the contours of the body. Now we'll go back over to our basic ex exposures here. And what I'm going to do is just make a couple of little tweaks to the levels here. I'm going to take the mid-tones and just brighten them just ever so slightly. And then we'll take our highlights here and bring those out just a bit more. And we'll go have a look at our before and after. We have our base exposure to the left. And then uh, the exposure we've made the adjustments to and applied the local adjustment mask to on the right. So there, uh, doesn't take a lot of time, but I love the flexibility uh, that I have here in Capture One when it comes to um, creating more dynamic exposures for those images where 
your exposure's correct, but for whatever reason, you didn't have the time to, you know, really get the dynamics uh, spot on in camera. You are able to make those adjustments here in Capture One, or even the images uh, that you were able to capture the dynamics you were looking for in camera. You can all, always come in and fine tweak things here, be it your uh, white balance, uh, making adjustments to color and creating images that are really going to have that pop more of a wow factor to them. I hope this has been a beneficial tutorial. Uh, definitely Capture One is my absolutely favorite software and application to use. I uh, hope you all will uh, take a look into it and give it a try. Until the next time, I'll see you on the other side. As usual, I hope this episode has been beneficial. If you've never had the opportunity to work with Capture One, I would definitely recommend you going to CaptureOne.com, downloading a free version, and giving it a go. I absolutely love the level of detail and flexibility in editing which Capture One gives me. But until the next time, get out there, get shooting, and remember, make every shot count.